Hi, so thank you for joining me on this uh, cool afternoon here. Um, I am back with another live video. Um, I decided that I was going to do these live videos because um, if I do the other kind where I record it and then do it, I never actually publish it. I get too embarrassed and I nitpick it myself and all the things I could be doing different and, and whatnot. And so anyway, I decided to do the live version. So hopefully we'll have some of my friends jump on here and join me and I can say hi to you. And But we'll get started. Um, for those of you who might be watching me for the first time, this first of all, this is only my second video. So, um, but I had quite a few um, views on my first video. I had um, just around 300. So I was super excited about it. And I thought, you know what, this is stuff that people really do want to know. Um, but for those of you joining me for the first time who haven't seen me before, my name is Andrea Hansen. Um, I'm a hairstylist and have been for about um, 20 years now. Um, it's what I love to do. I'm also a mom of three children. So I have a pretty crazy, fun, busy life. Um, anyway, I love teaching my clients about how to take care of their hair and how to do it in an easy, simple way. So, um, this video, I have my five favorite products and um, I will go over each one and why they're my favorite and what kind of hair they're best for. Now, um, just so you know, these products that I am picking today are, um, are ones that are going to be good like on everybody's hair. So whether you have thin hair, um, fine hair, thick hair, whatever, um, most likely short hair, long hair, it's going to work really well um, for anybody. So if I was doing a video specifically for fine hair or specifically for thick hair, I would pick probably different products. But these are just my overall favorite products for pretty much everybody. If you were to come sit in my chair, they would be personalized for you a little bit differently. So this is just um, an everyday type of product. Um, we'll look at product. So, all right, so let's get to it. I'm gonna start with my number five. This is the Hermesi Argon Oil. Now this little bottle packs a punch. I've had this bottle for over a year. Um, I don't use it on every single one of my clients, but the clients that come in um, with hair that's colored, I will use it on. So I would say like 90% of my clients, maybe 80% I use it on. Um, a little bit goes a long way. I like to call it liquid gold because it is expensive, real true Argon Oil, is very expensive. So, uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Hi, Stephanie. I'm so glad you joined me. Um, so true argon oil, you're going to pay a lot of money for, unfortunately, because it's just hard to come by. A lot of uh, products will say that they're argon oil, but if you actually look at the ingredient list, you want it to fall um, pretty darn close to the top of the list. And that's when you know that you're getting a more true argon oil. So this particular little puppy has stood the test of time. I have used this probably 10 years now. Um, and it doesn't matter if it's fine hair or thick hair. A lot of argon oils um, are too heavy on fine hair. But this little baby I can use on fine hair and it doesn't seem to affect it. Like doesn't weigh it down. So if you hear my dog sometimes, sorry, I can't help. She does like to yelp occasionally and pretend like there's something going on outside. <laughs> so anyway. Um, that is my number five. Oh, and uh, just so you know, the reason you use argon oil is to help condition the hair. So if you have dry hair um, and it's colored and you're feeling like it's just, especially the winter time, winter time is a great time to use it. Uh, but even the summertime, if you, if you are outside a lot and you're um, at the beach a lot, not that we have a beach around here, but anybody else, if you live close to the beach, traveling a lot, that kind of thing. This is gonna help put moisture back into the hair without making it feel heavy and weighed down. And then on top of that, I'm sorry, she is really barking. That's obnoxious. <laughs> Let's hope she stops. Um, and then on top of that, it um, will condition the hair as well. So it goes in there and is able to fit into the hair strand and help those bonds stay protected. So it's a really good, great product. All right, let's move on to number four. So my number four product is a little bit challenging um, because it's actually like uh, two products. So 
First of all, let me say that um, this is the Kenra Platinum Working Wax. And there's a number on there, it says number 15. And um, that number is to help you know the amount of hold that you get with this. Um, Kenra's uh, level of hold. Hi, Davinia, thank you for joining us. Oh, I'm so excited, I have two people watching. <laughs> um, my level of hold, oh, sorry, uh, for 15 for the, the Kenra products, uh, 26, I believe, is their highest. So you're like mid-range. Um, and a working wax is great for short hair, long hair. It depends on what you're doing with your hair. Um, I like to use it on my hair because um, like with the short hair, it kind of helps break it up and, and give it some um, texture to it. If you have longer hair, it's great at taking care of wispies or if you're like doing a braid or anything like that. So keeping this little sucker on hand is going to be really handy for just anything, um, no matter what kind of length you have going on. Um, updos or ponytails even, anything like that will help um, keep these at bay. Now the reason I brought in a second product is because I'm actually out of this product right now. I'm, I'm so sad there's like barely anything left in it. And I am very much um, frugal, <laughs> so frugal. And um, I picked up a dry wax for my mom and they were out of that one at the time and so I, I picked this one up and it's by um, Healthy Sexy Hair. And, um, oh, and hi, Patty. Good to see you join us again. Um, and this one is the one that I'm using right now because my mom ended up not liking it for her, her hair. She just wasn't quite sure how to use it. I love it. I've been using it on lots of people and, and I've really liked it so far. So I just wanted to show you, this is what a um, dry wax looks like. And it's not extremely um, hard. It does have a softness to it. You touch it and you're gonna get some on your hand. Um, but what I recommend is taking just a little bit, depending on how long your hair is or how thick it is, what you're going to be doing with it. If I was doing a ponytail and long hair, um, this might be a little bit too much. For my hair and my shortness and my texture, this is about just about the right amount. So about a half a nail's worth. And, um, and you put it in your hands and you get it to where you can't really see it on your hands anymore. And then you would go in and with the palms of your hands, I'll just show you briefly, even though my hair is fixed. Um, you just kind of puff it up just a little bit. I use the palms of my hands a little bit, but I also use the fingertips a ton. And, um, and then you can kind of rub it onto the palms of your hands like that and that kind of emotion. And that just gives you a little bit more um, texture in it. So, and placement. So if I was like feeling like, oh, I got some flyaways, this stuff is great, even with short hair to kind of place it and, and do certain things like that. And ooh, my niece, Katie. Hello, Katie, thanks for joining us. Um, anyway, and when you buy, I mean, you can buy any type of a dry wax you want, but I recommend these ones because they wash off the hands. So you're gonna feel it, you know, still a little bit left over on your hands when you're done using it but you should be able to go wash your hands and have it come off. If you're not feeling it come off with soap, um, it's not coming off your hair either. So just a little FYI there. Um, you do wanna spend a little bit more on these kind of products because these are the ones that are really gonna help um, and they go a long ways in your hair. And if they're not washing off, pay a little bit more to get something that's a little bit superior and it's gonna break down a lot easier. So anyway, um, those two, the Kenra Platinum. Kenra also has another line um, that is just their regular line. It doesn't say Platinum on it, and it is like 2 to $4 cheaper. But I actually prefer their Platinum line. I'm not exactly sure why they have the, the difference. Um, some people can't notice the difference. I, I wouldn't say the difference is big enough um, for me to state this is exactly the difference, but I can feel a difference when I use them for myself and when I'm using them in the salon. So, um, all right, let's move on to product number three. This one is um, Paul Mitchell Twirl Around. I love, 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 love this product. This is why it's number three on my list. Um, I discovered this little baby probably, I don't know, 15 years ago. All of these products that I have, by the way, have stood the test of time for me. I have, I, I'm a product junkie. I love shopping around and trying all sorts of new products and stuff. But when I get on a product that works really well, I, I stick with it. So sometimes I'll, you know, try to trade it out for something different. 
Um, but if it is a really good product, I always come back to it. So um, long time ago, mousses were like the thing to use, probably like when I very first started doing hair. Mousse was the big thing. And um, oh, Katie says she has it in her hair now. She loves it. She has curly, curly hair and it works fantastic. Um, and Stephanie, she says she loves this product too. So I think I probably got you hooked on it. Um, if you have curly hair or straight hair, it doesn't matter. That's the great thing about this. So I don't have naturally curly hair, but I use it in my hair every day um, when I wash my hair. So it just helps hold whatever you end up, um, whatever style you end up putting in your hair, whether it's straight or curly. So anyway, um, back to, so, you know, 20 years ago when I started doing hair, mousse was the big thing. And, and then it started fading out and maybe about like five years later, um, cream gels started to be a big deal. Um, they, they thought that cream gels were um, better holding and, and anyway, so this, um, and, and there was like the, the time frame where gel was all you would use. Um, so cream gel was supposed to be like the in-between of a gel and a mousse. Um, so this is back to being more like a cream gel. So you pump it into your hand and it comes out in cream form. When you're looking at it, it's like a mixture of a cream and a gel. And that's exactly how it feels in your hand. In fact, I'll pump it here so that you can see what it ends up pumping out like. Um, so it mixes together and, and it takes about this much for my hair. It doesn't take much, but I have short hair. Um, my niece, Katie, she's got a lot of hair, so she probably uses, I don't know, double this amount, I would say, Katie, um, when she's doing her hair curly. When she's doing it straight, she may not have to use as much, I'm not sure. Um, let me wipe this off. Anyway, um, it's incredible because it doesn't dry crunchy. It dries um, defined, like if you do have curly hair, it, it will dry it defined, but it doesn't end up being crunchy. And then if you don't have curly hair and you have more straight hair like I do, then when you go to blow it dry, it doesn't get that, you know, brush stuck feeling. It just gives you body so that whatever you put in it, the curl or, or whatnot, it's going to hold all day and you don't have to worry about it. So anyway, that's why this is my number three product. Number two. So my one and two spot are taken up both by hairsprays because frankly, if I had to choose a product, um, and I was on a deserted island and they said you can only take one beauty product, I would probably take hairspray. <laughs> so unless there was mosquitoes, maybe that would attract the mosquitoes. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> we won't worry about that. Um, anyway, so again, we're going back to the Kenra. It's funny because I don't use a ton of Kenra products, but I guess I like their styling products. So um, the Kenra Platinum Hairspray. So we got a number on here again. This is number 14 and it is their working spray. I love this stuff because um, short hair, again, long hair, it doesn't matter. I use it on my hair um, right before I'm gonna curl it. So if I'm doing something more fancy with my hair um, and I've blown it dry, then I will take this and, um, and it has a white cap. And you'll see why I point that out this time. But um, shake it up and then I just lightly spray and it gives like I'll just spray it all over and then I can actually take a brush and brush through it. I can even brush through it with my fingers because it's so soft. Um, but the purpose of it is that it gives a little bit of hold. So then I go through with a curling iron and the curl stays like nobody's business. So it is awesome. It just locks that in place for you. Um, and I love it when I'm doing updos, um, when I'm doing my girl's hair and I'm putting some curl in it or straightening it, that kind of thing. Um, same with my clients. So I always spray this on first before I uh, like to prep the hair. So whatever you you end up doing in the hair, if you're doing a hot tools type of procedure on the hair, um, then using this is going to be really good for you. And then finally, number one uh, is the Kenra Platinum Finishing Spray. This one is number 26. And um, this is what I love to refer to as my stop a fly and fly hairspray. <laughs> so it definitely has a really strong hold. Right here you can see their hold index 
and it says that um, their maximum hold is their finishing spray, number 26. Um, and it really has the ability to make your hair stay in place, and yet it doesn't weigh it down. So there are a lot of hairsprays out there that claim that they can hold, but they're so wet that they kind of weigh the hair down. Now I have fine hair, and, um, and I use this stuff every single day on my hair. So um, just to, to demonstrate, you can see that I still have movement in, in it, even from when I sprayed the uh, 15 in it, or the um, 14, sorry. And so if I, you can see the movement in it, if I use this, and you can see how much I'm spraying, okay, it's not moving. And if I, it's still wet. So if I mess with it much when it's wet, it, you know, I can still kind of move it around a little bit, but pretty much it's in place. Now, if I continue to spray it, it will take on a helmet type of look to it. So if that's what I was going for, this stuff will do it. So you just, you keep spraying it and stuff, but right now that's like the amount of hold I want. So I can do this, I can put my head down, it's not really going anywhere, which I really like. And it still has kind of a, a softness or delicateness to it that is just enough, you know, to, to keep my hair in place and not make me feel like uh, I have to keep spraying it throughout the day. Because really, I am all about being simple. And once I do my hair, I'm lazy. I'm a lazy hairdresser. Uh, those of you who know me, you know, I guess, that I can be kind of lazy. Um, and I, I just, I don't want to style it again. I have too many other things I'm doing. So, you know, maybe I'm not lazy, but in that regard with hair, I just want to be done. I don't want to have to go back and restyle it. So the most I ever have to do is um, like, if I've got somewhere I want to go in the evening, then I will come back and just kind of lift it up. And it doesn't feel heavy from uh, the first time I sprayed it, but it, this will last for hours. I don't ever have to go halfway through the day and spray again. And I'm telling you, if you've ever been in a hair salon and you've seen other hairstyles when they're not doing somebody else's hair, they're doing their own hair again for like the fifth time because that's just what we do. But I don't have time to do that. I've got a busy life, you know, in between hair, I'm doing chores, I'm running errands, I'm, I'm running my kids' places. I don't have time to keep going back and fixing my hair so that I'm making sure I'm always looking good. So that's my secret to feeling like my hair always looks good is putting the products in place and letting them do their job so I don't have to do more. So anyway, um, one other thing that I just wanted to show you along with this was, um, this is the Kenra regular line hairspray. And I had mentioned about the white cap with 14. So let me just show you really quick here. Um, and the 26, I didn't take the lid off with this one. But so the 26 has a black lid and the 14 has a white lid. And so if you happen to have these both in your drawer or whatnot, um, your arsenal to take out and use, you'll always know which one you're grabbing, which is really nice because really on the outside, they look exactly the same. Um, but I've never grabbed one accidentally thinking it was one of the other because of the lids. Um, but I wanted to show you what the difference was between the look of their regular camera products and the look of their platinum products. So you can see, um, yeah, the size is a little bit bigger, but, um, but this is also a different type of shape to it. Um, but even people love their standard lines. I feel like, um, so this says 25 and this says 26. Is there really much whole difference? Probably not. I, I, it's not enough difference that I've noticed, but what I prefer about this one over this one is the smell. Like this one smells like strawberries. And so most of my clients prefer this one. This one has more of like a perfumey smell and lingers in the air. So if you like perfumes, which I'm not partial to. So anyway, I prefer this one. They were actually out of this one when I went to get it. And so I had to get this one. So I still have like half a bottle left and I've had it for like a year now. <laughs> so anyway, um, that those five products are always in my arsenal. Oh, looks like we have another letter. Hi, Denise. Thank you for joining us. Um, but we have come to the end of me showing you my five favorite products. If you guys have any um, questions about them or any comments, you can always leave them below and let me know. Um, 
and hopefully I've been helpful in maybe narrowing down your search for your favorite products. Um, I don't get any type of payoff by any of these products. These are just simply products I have loved and have been tried and true um, over the years for me. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks for joining me. Bye.